All right, guys, welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Uh, today, we're going to be going over the new Halloween event that they have in uh, Raid Shadow Legends, and we will be discussing if um, Harvest Jack is worth it. So it's a new fusion. There's lots of tournaments, lots of events going on, and we're going to be discussing if Harvest Jack is worth it, uh, if you should keep any of these epic champions, and yeah, let's get right into it. So it started Friday, October 25th, and it's until Sunday, November 10th. That's when the fusion is. Uh, it's a brand new legendary champion, Harvest Jack, so he'll be available for a fusion. So I posted like a couple weeks ago that there will be a fusion. Right after the Molly tank car fusion uh, finish, I posted a picture of Harvest Jack on my community page on my YouTube channel. Yeah, so we did get some leaks, so he was leaked a bit. Uh, so to fuse Harvest Jack, you'll need to get the following four champions. So we have Sue Firstborn, and we have Maev, 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 I don't know how to pronounce her name, Haikatoon, and uh, Lady Atessa. Uh, he says, don't, they say, don't worry, they're all available through events, challenges, and battles. Here's how you get them. So, Sue Firstborn, I feel like, is the biggest, one of the biggest paywalls uh, so far. She's available from the Champion Chase Tournament. So, that starts October 31st and November 2nd. On the Discord server, they said that they will be um, maybe 6,000 to 8,000 points from the Champion Chase Tournament to acquire her. And then the Champion Training event starts October 28th and November 6th. So, I feel like they were gonna, they're going to put the paywall around her. Uh, Maev is not that bad. You need Stitch Beast. He's available from, from the Champion Training Tournament. It's going to start on October 28th. So that's in about three days. Harris is available from the Palace of Arabia. Uh, Beast Wrestler is going to be from the Spider Dungeon. I, I still feel like they need to increase the odds of obtaining these champions. Because uh, the drop rate is really, really low. Madman is available from the Dungeon Divers event. That's already happening right now. He's one of the dwarves. Haikatoon, I don't think they should have ever put Haikatoon on here because a lot of people use Haikatoon. Everybody got her uh, from the daily login rewards when they did that program. And she is a good champion for she's a good champion for Arena because she's a good lead for Arena. She can boost your team's uh, turn meter and speed, things like that. So she can get it from the Amaratine Skeleton if you don't have Haikatoon or if you want to build another one. And you can get that from the Arena Salt. Arena Salt is a very, very terrible thing. So hopefully you guys have Amaratine Skeleton in your vault. Mox Stalker you can get from Godfrey's Crossing. So he's one of the farm mobile champions. Uh, Ghoulish Ranger you can get from Dragon's Lair. Again, low drop rates for those. Mother Superiors, variable from the Dungeon Divers event happening right now. And then we're going to look at Lady Atessa. Uh, Steadfast Marshal is required for her. He is a rare Void champion. He's hard to get. But he's actually a very good champion. So it's kind of like I have him. But I don't know if I really want to go for Harvest Jack. And we'll discuss that later. Tem Templar is available from the Ultimate Straight from the campaign. Uh, Runic Warder is available for Fire Knight's Castle. I've ran Fire Knight's Castle for a while in the beginning, and I couldn't even get him to drop. I don't know if he's drops in stage 20. Uh, Judicator, I have. She's available from the Champion Training event starting October 28th. And yeah, they say Happy Hunting Summoners. So we're going to see if this guy is even worth uh, going after. Harvest Jack, so he's HP based. Legendary Champion, Undead Horse Faction. Harvest of Fears is A1. Attacks on one enemy three times. I like the triple hit. Each hit has a 25% chance of stealing one random buff from the target. So that increases if you level it up. But the, the chance is pretty low. It's only going to be 10% more. So there's going to be a 35% chance. And then each hit also has a 25% chance of placing a fear debuff for one turn. If the target has no active buffs. And the chance increases to 100% if all buffs were stolen from the target. Damage based on, on HP. So you could actually... You know what? He might actually do a lot of damage. His damage based on HP. Uh, he has an AoE that places the block buffs debuff for two turns on targets under fear debuffs. Removes any increased attack buff from the target and replaces them with 50% decreased attack. So he basically does the opposite version of whatever the, the whatever the champions have, whichever buff they have, he does the opposite. So for continuous heal, he places a poison. Uh, the number of poisons debuffs equal to the amount of continuous heal buffs on, removed. So I think he has potential to be doing a lot of damage because his damage is all based on HP. So he actually might... He has 10,500 HP. He actually might be crazy in terms of damage because there's double AoEs and it's triple A1. AoE attack Lord of Terror has a 75% chance of placing a true fear debuff for one turn. Also places a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns and decreases each target's trigger by 15% of the true fear debuff is placed. So potentially this guy actually might be good in Spider. He is a Spirit Affinity. Has a 75% chance of placing a sleep debuff for one turn if the true fear debuff is not placed. So, I said that he wasn't that good in my community post. I deleted my community post. Um, I think he is actually good. But, 
I think that they're going to put a big paywall in front of him. I will see if I can get him or not. I don't know. I'm not going to rush to get him because I have I have some of the rare champions. I have Haiku too, and I didn't really work on her before. Oh yeah, let's look at his passive ability, Leering Grin. When attack, he decreases the duration of all buffs on the attacker by one turn. So I think that's a good combo with I think that's a good combo with people who have Arbiter because she can also do that, but she has an active ability that does that. So yeah, I already have High Katoon. She's in my vault right now waiting. Uh, she's at level 50, I just need to fully ascend her. And uh, I just need Runic Warder to get uh, Lady Atessa. And I just need Stitch Beast from here. I will be able to get these three so I can get uh, Maiev, but Seaway Firstborn, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get her. And is she even worth? So yeah, these champions are not that good. Maev is not that good. Maev. Lady Atessa. Lady Atessa is okay for Arena. Not top tier or anything, but she's okay. Haikatoon is, uh, she can be a pretty top tier in Arena. She's using gold four if you have a uh, speed aura booster. So it's going to be hard for people to give up Haikatoon. So if you guys have these champions at the bottom, I would actually fuse ha another Haikatoon. So you guys can decide if you want to go for it. If you guys are whales, then obviously you're going to go for it. And yeah, you can probably have fun with the character. So Harvest Jack actually looks like a good character. I said he wasn't that good, but he actually is good from my community post, but I deleted that. So I retracted my statement on that. So yeah, he is. I feel like he's going to be good. He's going to be doing a lot of damage. Hopefully Plarium do not uh, change his damage based on HP into anything else. If his damage is based on attack, he's not going to be good at all. So if they keep it at HP, he'll be good. So they have Mother Superior here. They have Madman. So I'll probably just need to get the Madman. Uh, Dungeon Divers again event is not that bad, so that's okay. But one thing I don't like is how they threw in this tournament right here. They have this Champion Chase tournament, uh, which is pretty terrible because it has nothing to do with the fusion, I think. I think it was just bad timing on this because Bulwark is not even required for this uh, event at all. Unless they're going to add a fusion requirements for Suey later on. Maybe Bulwark is required, maybe that's what they're going to do, I don't know. But yeah, this event... It's kind of baiting people to open their shards. So I don't know why Plarium has done that. And what's interesting also is they said that there's going to be four new Halloween uh, characters in the game. But we're only getting this guy. We're only getting uh, Harvest Jack right now. So there's going to be a werewolf, uh, some Frankenstein looking guy and a witch. So I'm not sure if these champions are going to be added into the game soon. Well, they should be. If they're going to be legendaries or epics or whatever. Uh, we'll see. Only time will tell. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys are going to go for Harvest Jack. And another thing I wanted to talk about before we end the video is that they switched the uh, Rihanna picture. So Headtaker now has a different profile picture. It looks kind of weird to me, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it's because of my video or um, or if everybody's just talking about it and they changed it. I'm going to go for Harvest Jack. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you guys get him, send me some gameplay. Let's see if I can get him too. I don't know if I'm going to get him or not. And yeah, that'll be it for the video. If you guys found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you guys are new to the channel and you like to see, then make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, you can enable uh, notifications if you want. It's up to you. And that will help you guys stay up to date with my content. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.